guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. -Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our mass making sessions. We are up to week number 176. So for anyone who does not watch my channel regularly, we are doing reruns. So we're rerunning week number 76. So we're now week number 176. So what we are making today, we are making, um, oh, let me just check the name of these. I only just watched this, but yeah, I can't remember. Easy folded pockets from one sheet of paper. Um, and if you want to craft along what you're going to need. Now I'm going to use mainly printables because that's what I obviously have the most of these days. But you could use scrapbook paper, you could use book page, you know, you could use perhaps sheet music, things like that. Um, you know, anything that you like. The only thing that I would say to that is don't use anything too, too flimsy. Now, I've pulled in quite a few, um, uh, you know, thinner papers for this. I normally work with much thicker paper, but this is not copy paper thickness. Copy paper is generally around 70 to 80 GSM. This is about 102, or it could even be 110, I think, this one. So it's kind of thicker than that. It's nowhere near the kind of 200 or 210 that I, you know, more often than not use. Um, but it is, you know, it is thicker than copy paper. Now, I have got one or two sheets which are thicker. So this one here, for example, this is on 230 GSM. Now, I actually think maybe this would be too thick for these. Um, so we're just going to kind of play around and see. So again, if you use scrapbooking paper, you probably would not, uh, would not want to use the really thick scrapbook, scrapbooking paper. Equally, you wouldn't want to use that really flimsy. Sometimes you get those really cheap pads that are that, you know, really see-through kind of paper. That would be a bit too, too thin. Um, so somewhere kind of in between, really, would be a good kind of, um, you know, measure. Uh, you're then going to need possibly some scissors. You're going to need possibly a um, glue spreader, maybe like a dry wipe. And when I say a dry wipe, I just take packets of wipes, you know, and pull out a bunch and leave them out to dry overnight. And then I've got kind of a whole bunch ready to use. Um, so dry wipes just to dab out some of your glue. Uh, you may want to have a bone folder. All of these things are optional and you can probably use other things in place. So, I mean, if you don't have a bone folder, I'm just going to use my scissor handles. I have got a bone folder, but I'm just going to use my scissor handles. You could use a sewing machine for these. Um, I think in my original mass making, I did do a couple with the sewing machine. But again, you know, we may or may not. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need some glue. Now, I always use the Anita's Tacky Glue. I've got mine in a Sugar Bell icing bottle but that's the glue that I kind of like to use really. And then aside from that, you may want to have some bits and bobs to decorate the fronts of these. I think that's pretty much all that you're going to want to have to hand. Um, so yeah, let's just get making and see how they come along. So I'm going to just take a sheet of paper. Okay, sorry about that. Right, so I'm going to use, um, this paper it's just from my damask papers and yeah we'll just kind of make the first one from this so i'm going to just take the paper and i'm going to fold it down on the short edge and i'm going to fold it down kind of oh i don't know what you would call that but yeah sort of leaving basically this is going to be your pocket so however big you want your pocket is how far you're going to bring your page down. And there's no right or wrong here. You may want to make a whole bunch, different sizes, different, you know, um, just alter them around so that you've got some different looks. But that's kind of there. And then you're going to bring this up. And this is going to be your other pocket. So basically you're going to have side pockets and then another pocket here. So then what you're going to do, squish your, your um, folds down like that and like that and then all you're literally going to do is fold your pocket in half so I mean honestly these are like the world's easiest thing ever ever ever, ever. like that okay and that's all there is to these now again like I always say one of the benefits from doing these reruns is that we kind of like learn um, you know better ways of doing things so here where you've got this middle crease what can happen is when you glue this down here and then on the edge 
this pocket goes a little bit kind of baggy or this goes a bit creased. So what you can do at this point is kind of unfold it or fold, you know, fold it round the reverse. Get your scissors and just literally slit this, you know, by like a little millimetre or so. So like that into that fold. So if I just show you, I haven't cut it open because then you're still going to have as much paper left, you know, to deal with. Instead, what I've done is I've taken a little kind of chunk out of the paper. So hopefully you can kind of see that. And then this will go up like that. And then you've got your pockets here and here. Okay. And then, you know, you may want to kind of do like a little bit of a shaped bit on this edge as well. Completely up to you, really. Um, but I might just leave those in. So it will be like that. And then all you're going to do, open your piece back out. Take your glue. And then you're going to just run a bead of glue. Oh, now my glue's not wanting to play games or play the, the game. Oh, because I can't use it yet today. Hold on. And then you're going to run a bead of glue along the edge here. Like that. Okay. Squish your piece down. So through the middle along the bottom. Okay, through the middle, along the bottom, like that. Okay, squish that down. And then all you're going to do here is up this side and up this side. And that's then your pockets. There, like that. One here. Like that. Okay, so we just squish those down like that. And that's it. That's your little foldy pocket book thing. Now, what you do from here with it is completely up to you. Of course, you could add extra pages in here so it's, you know, got more pages. You could put like a thumb hole in here, you know, absolutely you know the world's your oyster kind of thing with these you can do whatever you like you could even fold them around the reverse so that you had the pockets on the outside so perhaps we'll do a couple like that as well just to kind of show you um but they're just a really nice pocket aren't they so you know very very simple so i'll run you through one again obviously they are not anything very complicated at all so you know i'm sure probably just running you through twice is more than enough so this is again this is from my damask papers I think that one might have been from the light coloured ones. This, I think, is from the darker ones. So I'm going to just take this, again, folding down on that shorter edge. So if you're using scrapbook paper and it's, say, like a 12 by 12, you're going to want to cut it down really into a rectangle. It doesn't have to be A4 size, which is, you know, that 11.25 by... No, uh 11.69 I think it is by 8.25 it doesn't have to be that size I'm just meaning it would need to be a sort of rectangle it would maybe work with a square I haven't tried you know doing any with a square um but yeah you're just going to have to kind of cut your papers down but for this I'm obviously just using you know rectangular papers anyway so it just saves you having to do that part so then you folded your bottom flap up literally just like that like that squish them down with either your scissor handle or your bone folder like that and then literally take your pocket piece or your pocket booklet and you just fold that straight over there and squish it down now again then what we want to do is to tidy this bit up and you can probably see hopefully you can see it a bit better in the dark colored paper I've already got that crease going on in that paper. So, you know, already that's happening without even adding the glue. So it kind of is a good thing to do is to actually kind of cut that down because you're just going to save that kind of thing from happening. So I'm folding it into the reverse way, take my scissors and then 
remember we're just snipping out like a sort of you know fraction oops like you know I mean it's not even a millimeter I couldn't even tell you you know how tiny this piece is I mean if I unfold it now you'll be able to see a bit better oops and this one does not want to unfold so yeah I'm being all fingers and thumbs not able to really unfold this and show you but you know we've literally taken a slither off of that but just that slither is enough to prevent that kind of thing happening now this one as it happens I have not folded right down to the thing so already I've got a bit of a bit of a sort of faux pas going on there because I've got them white paper showing so I've just moved that down slightly so these are very forgiving you know I mean like all these things and I know I say this all the time you know we're not making anything for you know an art gallery or anything like that there's no point stressing you can normally just refold things or you know if you can't refold them you would probably be able to ink that up you know if you didn't want that white showing there's always a get around so don't kind of stress and worry too much you know it's not it's not kind of the end of the world if you've you know glued glued something down and then you've got a bit of white paper showing it's all fine so again just squish that down like that and then here we're just going up this bit oh we didn't we didn't glue this edge down sorry i'm so sorry i <laughs> I'm just on rubbish form at the moment, so I just can only apologise. Um, yes, obviously tons and tons of things going on at the moment, um, you know, and I won't get into it now, but you know, I know that I touched on it last week, obviously with the um, divorce and the finances and all of that kind of stuff. So it's all kind of, you know, hopefully, well, come into a midway point at least. Um, and yeah, it's just proving very stressful. So I do apologise. I've had a not great weekend kind of anxiety wise. Um, to the point, this is how ridiculous things get sometimes. So <laughs> I'm going to discuss this, but you know, yeah, let's not dwell on the whole, you know, what's going on. But you know, when you feel quite anxious for anyone who suffers from anxiety. So sorry, that's that little pocket there. And again, you've got obviously pockets here and then your pockets there. So, I mean, I've probably shown you through enough now to actually kind of, you know, just get mass making a whole bunch here. So I'm just going to put these to one side and then I'm going to kind of mass make them. Now, when I say mass make, I'm meaning kind of the assembly line style. Um, so all the folding and then all the cutting and then all the gluing, you know, all is assembly line kind of style. So um, I probably won't really talk you through what we're doing because obviously I've talked you through a couple of times anyway. Um, and we will just, yeah, we'll just kind of relax, have a nice time. And then it, only if I do something, you know, different, will I kind of like, you know, stop to kind of mention it. Otherwise, we'll just, you know, crack on and kind of, yeah, just, just get on with doing it. So this is from the French collection papers. So, yeah, I've added, um, you know, what I'm calling just the collection background papers. So, so far, I've got the light damask, the dark you know the rich damask and the french collection i will be adding more collections um you know and hey if you've got any collections that you would specifically love um then you know please don't hesitate to kind of mention it and i mean i'm not saying i will definitely be able to do it but i will do my best to you know conjure up some sort of collection um you know depending on <laughs> how many requests there were and things but yeah so please you know do mention it if you would like to see something this one, I'm going to fold this in the other way because we talked about doing some like that, didn't we? So just to kind of show you a different a different take on them, basically. So we're just folding so that the pocket is then actually on the outside instead of the inside. So then what you could do is obviously on the inside is you could cover the insides with maybe just some coffee dyed paper or something like that. So... I'll just pull in a little bit of coffee dyed paper here just to just to demonstrate you know you could just kind of put some coffee dyed paper in with just a border around and again you could put some pages in and things like that so you know just folding on the reverse changes the whole kind of feel and look of these and the good thing is actually we're doing it this way round you don't have to worry about this edge 
because you're not having that weird crease thing going on anyway so you know it's yeah it's one of the kind of bonuses i guess of doing it this way around instead anyway so yes i i've gone off this tangent but that's that's just another option so yeah let's just kind of um get on and kind of do a few do a few like this so this is also the um french collection papers now i'm just wondering whether i may regret doing it with these because then the patterns are going to be sideways on i haven't tried doing one this way um obviously you would end up with a very sort of short stumpy but long pocket it could maybe work okay or maybe we could trim it down slightly um should we give that a go i mean it's always fun to try try other things isn't it so yeah should we try that let's do that um okay i'm just going to take that pocket up and then oh this isn't going brilliant is it because everything's upside down now oh well doesn't matter so if i decided which bit that i particularly wanted so for example this building and i could then put my fold say there and then just snip off this entire edge so that it's you know flush with that edge so yeah just a different different way of doing them you've then got this kind of short stumpier kind of pocket so you know again it's just another way to do them and a different look and actually another way to incorporate if you've got certain types of papers where they've got obviously landscape pictures this is an alternative way to make them so yeah and of course i'm going to hold that because well that's what we do isn't it so yeah i'm going to hold that um okay let's do this so this is from my um pink paris kit um which again is a new kit in my shop so uh yeah let's just kind of um do one with this anyway so i was saying yes at the weekend so i was having um you know terrible anxiety and it was the second weekend on the trot and it kind of spoiled my weekend actually which was really annoying um you know had to kind of go to bed and things in the end yesterday um when i got in because i was really not feeling good at all because of it anyway when i was out so i'd gone out to do the food shopping you know which oh i hate that task anyway but yeah i'd gone out to do the food shopping and um this is how sometimes anxiety can well certainly affect me let me know below if you suffer from anxiety and i know that lots of us do because We've talked about this before and i know that lots of you have shared in the comments that you also suffer from anxiety and um you know it really can be very debilitating as i say i had to come home and kind of lay down then for the rest of the afternoon um you know just because i felt so dreadful and then everything was just so dizzy i couldn't actually kind of get get out of bed in the end and um but i'd gone to do the food shopping done the food shopping obviously put it in the car went to put the trolley back and this sounds like such a crazy thing to say. I couldn't work out how to get the trolley into the coin thing. So, you know, when you put like the one pound in to get a trolley out, um, you know, I had that and then I couldn't actually remember how to slot the trolley back in. So in the end, I had to move the trolley back out. Um, yeah, move the trolley back out to kind of like, you know, because I couldn't get it to reach. And you know what? It was only at that point that I suddenly thought, what on earth? What am I doing? I'm trying to put the trolley. Sorry, just deciding how I want this. This is my, um, you know, vintage header uh, papers. So they're super pretty, aren't they? Um, yeah, I thought, what am I doing? I've now tried to plug the wrong you know like one pound slot into the wrong end so there's a right and a wrong if you see what i mean so of course it wasn't working i mean what on earth is wrong with me i just literally had this complete kind of fog where i could not remember how you know how that trolley kind of went in there and i mean how long have they been around those you know put the one pound in for your trolley for years how many times have i used them years loads of times you know every week <laughs> every week for the shopping I just literally had like a complete blank, you know, just couldn't remember. And I felt so embarrassed because when I suddenly realised and thought, oh my goodness, look what I'm trying to do. 
obviously then I pulled the trolley back out and put it in, you know, properly as it should go. And I just thought, oh, I hope nobody saw me doing that because how embarrassing is that? You know, that I couldn't fathom out how to put the trolley in. It was like I literally had gone mad for a few moments. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, that's, I think, just how sometimes anxiety really can kind of manifest itself, is it just gets you to the point that, you know, you literally can't think straight. And um, yeah, that obviously was kind of the case yesterday. So I'm going to take this. This is from um, the Vintage Victorian kit. Again, it's another new kit in my shop. And um, yeah, just thought this would look rather pretty. So again, need to just decide which way I want to have this because, you know, we've done this kind of this way up now, which would then be too long. So I'm going to, yeah, take this up here like that. And then I'm just going to cut this end off, I think. So, okay. Or perhaps we should cut this end. Yeah, perhaps we'll do this one. Anyway, just, you know, the mind boggles really. I don't know how that happens. You know, how you literally can't remember how to do something that's so, you know, um, ordinary that you've done so many times before. It's just really bizarre. Really, really, really weird. Anyway, that was that was my weird thing that happened yesterday. There we go. Okay. Not sure whether I like the little stumpy ones so much, to be honest. So this also is from that same kit, the Victorian Vintage, or the Vintage Victorian. And um, yeah, going to do this one up this way, I think. So it has got this little kind of bit on here. So I might try and do it this way and then that will be beneath the pocket so it won't really show. Oh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who bought the fun photos kit. Um, you know, I did a launch of that on Sunday and then I did another video of that today, which for me is Monday, for you guys obviously, you know, yesterday. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much. And I really hope that you are loving using that kit. Honestly, I had such a lot of fun. And I did say it in the video, but I loved using it so much. And the first day that I played with it, I just had endless ideas and thought, oh, I'm you know, gonna play with this this afternoon. Then life took over. I didn't get time to play with it that afternoon. So it was actually then like a good t you know, two weeks that I then, you know, until I played with it again. Um, and it was so annoying because I just was having such a lot of fun. But I did manage to play with this a bit yesterday morning because Sundays um, are my day off where I don't go to the gym and I normally do some crafting for a couple of hours without filming. And that's kind of the only time that I really craft without filming um, is like on a Sunday morning now. So um, yeah, I had such a lovely time because I did actually kind of get on and be playing with those. I'm just looking actually, if I'm using these, I probably... So yeah, it can go straight in like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut the border off. Okay. Okay. And then here. So yeah, anyway, I had such a good time. So I really hope that if you bought those kits, you know, any of those um, fun photo kits. Well, it's, it's just the one kit. But, you know, if you did buy the fun photos kit, I really hope that you have loved using it as much as I did. Um, you know, I can see endless possibilities with it. I can still see other things that I could do with it now. Um, it will probably be weeks before I get to play with it again. Um, but, yeah, it really was, you know, a lot of fun to play with. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. So... And like I said in that um, second video, you know, don't limit yourself to just the pieces that came in that kit either, because you really could add some, you know, other bits. And actually, I'm just going to pull in one of the pictures that I did yesterday. Um, oh, here we go. Actually, I'll pull in a couple. So I used some of my faux stamped images for this one. And that's just with the tracing paper background. And then the lady I've put over the top there so she looks quite nice doesn't she and then I used some flower fairies um, images in them 
So how gorgeous does that look? Sorry, I've now got some hot glue blobbed on there, which is really annoying. Um, how gorgeous does that look? Absolutely lovely, isn't it? And that's just a flower fairy image. A couple of the flowers from the fun photos kit and then just a label from the junk journal basics kit. And then I actually have forgotten about those flower fairy ones, to be honest. And the one that I was going to show you uh, was, yeah, was the one with the big flower. So let's just pull that in. Oh, I've got another. So I did this one just with like the plain um, transparency and then one of my big floral, you know, botanical um, images there. So again, you know, absolutely gorgeous. And you could just then put that over the top of something else. So super nice, isn't it? This one where the floral was actually kind of the, the focal point of the, like the photo. And then another one with the flower fairy images. So how gorgeous is that? So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly share those with you because that was what I'd been doing yesterday morning. And um, yeah, I had such a good time. So, you know, I just thought I would quickly share with you those things to be honest so okay so just take this down here Oops. okay yeah so thank you so much anyway and um yeah thank you to everybody who sent lovely kind wishes to my mum so touch wood she is doing well Again, I've not really seen her that much because I've been quite busy the last couple of weeks. I haven't kind of managed to go down and see my mum and dad or anything. I have met them. They've come in um, to like town where I live and we've just met up very quickly for a Costa. I think we've done that twice last week, just kind of for an hour in the afternoon a couple of times. Um, so yeah, she's doing really, really well. So thank you so much for everybody's lovely, kind well wishes to her. Um, and do you know what? I saw her the first the first day that I saw her um, when they came in to meet me. She looked so different. And this sounds a really strange thing to say, but obviously, you know, I talked about how she was feeling so super anxious about her operation. And, you know, it was really, you know, having a very very profound kind of effect on her and you know what she looked like a different person when I saw her the other day because I had only seen her in the hospital which was only like 24 hours after the operation so of course she wasn't really looking great that day um and aside from that I'd just seen her on FaceTime which you know of course you can't really tell um but seeing her in the flesh she looked completely different to how she's looked for months and you know you don't notice do you kind of when you see people regularly you know you don't necessarily notice kind of you know when they maybe aren't looking so well and things like that because you see them all the time so it's kind of a gradual thing and you don't really notice but seeing her last week I said to her oh my goodness you look just so good you look back to your old self which I hadn't noticed she wasn't looking her old self if you see what I mean and like she said you know she'd been in such a lot of pain and that pain was just so constant and so draining that she hadn't really kind of noticed the toll it was taken on her but you know obviously it was and um that's a bit how I'm feeling myself at the moment is you know once all this stress you know I feel like at the moment if it ever gets resolved I can't tell you how much of a different person I'm going to feel, you know, different slash my old, oh, again, forgotten to glue these down. These types of things, you see, are just happening all the time to me now um, because it's very hard to clear your mind even for, you know, an hour or even 10 minutes. Um, so things like, you know, you kind of end up waking up in the night a lot and things like this and, oh, it just zaps you of your... Your personality so you know that definitely had been the case with my mum and um yeah she just looked like a different person so thank you so so much to everybody you know your kind well wishes she just yeah really appreciates it obviously i read out a few of the messages you know um that you guys have left for her and things and you know obviously i told her that everybody was kind of wishing her the best and things so she also you know would like to say thank you but yeah, I definitely, you know, would love to say thank you. So, um, yeah, very much appreciated. But my goodness, she's 
just doing so brilliantly. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? The um, medical kind of advances, really, that we've, you know, have access to now. And, um, yeah, to kind of think that years ago, you know, people would not have had the chance of, you know, a new hit or anything like that. So we really are very, very, very fortunate, aren't we? Oh, and thank you to everybody who's who's made all those lovely comments about my lovely boo. So, yes, that gorgeous little doggy. Um, that was one of the reasons why I had to stop the camera earlier because she was kind of crying and I thought, oh, why is she crying? She was crying because she wanted to go back to bed. Bless her. She is so lazy. I know I talked about this before. She loves to burrow and actually I've kind of like Googled it and things and, um, you know, they... They loved Barry because originally I think they used to hunt badgers or something. And um, funnily enough, I had a lovely comment from a lady yesterday and she said they've got three um, sausage dogs and they also are great burrowers. And, you know, they spend all their time kind of under the covers. And that's how she is. She's constantly under the covers. So whereas I've got her bed, obviously, in the, you know, in my room here with me, I think now she's feeling a bit more settled with us, you know, as a family and, you know, in our home. Um, you know, hopefully she's kind of feeling a bit less less insecure and a bit more settled. She's not having to be in here now when I'm filming. Her crying just now, what I thought, you know, Ooh, do you want to go out? What, you know, what's going on? Do you know what? She wanted to go back to my room and into the bed. So I've got to throw on the bed. She's not actually under the duvet, although she does go under the duvet when I'm in there. But yeah, she's um, under the throw. So she can't get up on my bed, which was why she had to come and get me, was to lift her onto the bed so that she could then burrow under the throw. Honestly, how lazy is she? So yeah, she's gone back to bed. Can't blame her. Um, yeah, that was what she was wanting. But oh, she is so cute, honestly. Yeah, so, so, so cute. So, yeah, thank you so much for everyone's lovely, lovely, kind words about her. She is indeed a gorgeous little doggy, I have to say. Okay. Oh, I had such um, an exciting thing happen on Saturday. So, I know I've talked about this before, but... Um, you know, I generally don't really know that people, that many people in real life who craft. Obviously, you know, I've got all you um, lovely friends that I've made here on YouTube, um, you know, through our junk journal community. And I do, you know, genuinely feel like I really do know some of you guys. And I've said this before, but, you know, if you don't hear from somebody who comments often, um, you know, for a few days or, you know, sometimes a few weeks... I mean, you really do kind of worry about that person and think, oh, I wonder what's happened to them, you know. And of course, you know, you don't want to pester that person because they may have just <laughs> found another channel that they're enjoying watching more. And that's absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, because we kind of like develop these friendships, you do feel like you've kind of got to know somebody and, you know, you kind of get to know certain names and, you know, you remember, oh, you're the lady with the, the this or, you know, that lives here or, you know, those kinds of things. And, um... Oh, I can't remember now what I was saying about that. <laughs> Where was I going with that comment? Oh, yes. So, yeah. Um, but in real life, my real real life in the flesh, you know, I actually don't know many people who craft. Um, so I've got my lovely friend who got me into crafting in the first place, but she does not live nearby. Um, so unfortunately, you know, I don't really ever kind of get to see her anymore. Um, and this sounds really strange thing to say, but partly because we were kind of friends with them as a couple. So, you know, her and her husband and her children, you know, or their children, they would come and stay for the weekend at our house. We would go and stay at their house, you know. And I'm sure, you know, I mean, they have said to me that I would be more than welcome, you know, now. Um, I, it's a bravery thing. I know that just sounds really weird thing to say, but... I'm not really brave enough to kind of go and do it on my own and go and stay with them. Um, and I guess, you know, it's all a bit awkward for them to come and stay here. They, um, they've got children similar ages to my children now. 
so of course their children probably don't want to come and stay here you know they're teenagers now so you know they would have to kind of i would have to go to them really um you know because their children i guess wouldn't want to come and yeah it's just kind of gone out the window obviously there was covid so that kind of got in the way and then of course you know when my husband moved out so although i am still in touch with them i haven't physically seen them for a long time and you know that's really really sad and that's another thing that does happen you know as a result of a divorce is obviously you know maybe your friends change or even if those friends are still there maybe your relationship with them changes i.e you know we haven't kind of gone to stay with them they haven't come to stay here who knows it may have changed anyway because like i say their kids are teenagers now um but i've gone off at a tangent again um so yeah i don't know anybody kind of really because my my sisters they don't craft my mum doesn't craft you know anyway on saturday i um went with a friend of mine um and his mum was having some friends around so i was invited and um yeah i met a lady there um who is a crafter i just couldn't believe it so i was chatting along with her and then i can't remember now what what made her say it but she said something about oh i i like to do a lot of crafting and i thought oh crafting so she then you know carried on what she was saying and i I just said, oh, I, you know, you said crafting. I said, um, what kind of crafting do you do? And she said, oh, I, I paper craft. Wow, paper craft. I mean, that was just like, you know, red rag to a bull, wasn't it? There was no way I was letting that go. So I said, paper crafting? I said, oh, what, what type of paper crafting do you do? So she card makes, um, and she showed me some pictures of her cards. She makes amazing cards, very, very talented, super neat obviously um you know quite a precision person and you know she doesn't mind measuring and all of that stuff and um yeah very kind of neat neat lovely work that she does but i could not believe it so i don't know whether then i said um oh i can't remember or maybe my friend said you know oh that's what um you know tina does for a job you know she she's a crafter and <laughs> that was it i mean we were just there for kind of like you know the rest of the afternoon literally chat 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 sorry i'm just kind of having to be a bit discreet because what's on the back of here is um you know a printout from my my court case so uh yeah um yeah anyway so our chat then was just of course dominated completely by the crafting and it was so fun and so exciting because we were talking about the same things we knew what each other were talking about you know that if i said a big shot to somebody else they would not have a clue what i was talking about if if you said you know i don't know tim holtz to someone who wasn't a crafter they wouldn't know what you were talking about would they um you know and i said to her things like you know do you love fussy cutting I mean, anyone who was not a, a paper crafter would look at you and just kind of think you'd dropped out of the sky, wouldn't they? And be like, what? what? What is that? What are you talking about? Not her. She knew exactly what I was talking about. And oh my goodness, we had such a lovely time. So yeah, um, I told her my name and everything and hopefully she's going to add me as a friend on Facebook. And um, I don't know her last name or anything, but... Um, yeah so hopefully she's going to do that and then we can be obviously in contact so yeah just couldn't believe it i thought of all the people you know to run into was a fellow crafter right let's count how many we've done so we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine so we've done nine which is quite a lot isn't it so let's decorate one up so I've just taken this one. I've literally just not being choosy. I've just kind of taken the first one that was on the top. Now I've just got these here. These are from my Great Expectations kit. And they're just the ephemera part of that. So I don't know this, you know, this might look rubbish, but this was just kind of something that was just on the desk from something else that I have been doing. So I thought, well, let's give this a try and see. see if this maybe looks good so 
Oh, my daughter, bless her. She's got the worst cold. Well, not cold, actually. Cough. So she doesn't feel ill. She said she feels fine, you know, but she's got this lingering cough. I don't know whether maybe she's had COVID and we weren't aware of it, you know. Um, but her cough is such a hacking cough. And the whole weekend, you know, she was having this hacking cough. Gave us some honey and lemon and things. It, I don't know. It didn't, I don't think, make much of a difference. But maybe it made more of a difference than I think. Um, but, oh, just awful, awful cough. So, yeah. But I think everybody's got things like that, to be honest. So, um, right. I'm wondering whether I might put some book page behind that. Uh, what's we got? These. These are from my... French collection of papers. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry if you can hear the fan heater as well. I've got that fan heater going because it's just brilliant to have, to be honest. So, yeah, I just like to have it on now all the time if I'm in here. I just have it on, so. Okay. Yeah, touch wood. She said, um, you know, she felt a bit better this morning. Not that she'd been feeling ill, but, you know, her cough felt a bit better. And touch wood, I didn't hear her coughing so much in the night and she wasn't coughing very much this morning. So, I mean, touch wood, she's over the worst of it. But, yeah, I mean, yesterday, my goodness, she was really, really, really coughing. Like, all the time. All the time. So, yeah, hopefully she is over the worst. Oh, that gorgeous little dog. <laughs> she's not come back in. So she obviously, she's just fast asleep under the duvet, honestly. The lazy, lazy dog she is. Which I love. I love that about her. Who wants to have to be, um, you know, doing loads of exercise unnecessarily. So, I mean, obviously I do take her for a walk, um, you know, every day. But, yeah, it's great that she also is happy to just laze around, isn't it? So... So I'm just pulling in things that are laying about on the desk, to be honest. I mean, I'm wondering if that might be a bit too much pink on there, to be fair. Um, maybe it would be better on a more contrasty piece. Mm -hmm. Or maybe again on that damask, actually. That looks quite lovely, doesn't it? This is from the Bird Chase papers, actually, this one. Um, so, I mean, she could even go on there. I don't know. I think probably, I mean, she looks weirdly, she looks really nice on the blue, doesn't she? But I think probably this, as soon as you put it onto something that's kind of like a, yeah, definite match, you kind of straight away know, don't you? I mean, there, she looks quite good on there as well. But yeah, I'm going to use the damask disc. I, I just can't get enough of these damask papers at the moment. I'm really loving them. They really are very versatile and, um, yeah, just really, really, really like them. So, yeah, we could have a like that. So, and I'm just using one of those flowers there left over from the, um, you know, Fun Photos kit. I've got some of those flowers left over from the Rachel pockets, actually, but it's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, a bit weird. I'm just more comfortable with this kind of look, I think. Um, you know, it's just a style that I kind of prefer. Well, not not prefer, but I seem to be able to work with better, I think. So we all have our own quirks, don't we, in our own ways. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes I just, you know, it's always interesting that what works brilliantly for one person, you know, you can try it and then think, oh my goodness, that looks terrible. You know, and yet for other people, it looks amazing. And I always feel that with the botanical type things and the nature. I know I've talked about this loads of times, but honestly, that's just a look that I can't seem to pull off, really. I don't know why. But, yeah, just don't seem to be able to master that. I think just, you know, part of it is you go with what you're naturally drawn to. So if you're kind of naturally drawn, drawn to, you know, nature... Um, you know, birds and things like that, then, you know, you're going to gravitate towards that and you'll make a fantastic job of those types of things. Um, 
you know, and I do love things like that, but equally, I absolutely love, you know, I love clothes and I love, um, you know, love architecture. I mean, I absolutely love walking around, you know, in a sort of historical city and just seeing the beautiful, beautiful buildings. And definitely if, you know, if I was kind of, I don't know, shopping for a picture or something, you know, I would probably be much more drawn to a picture of, say, you know, some historical buildings, you know, in black and white or something than I would be to a sort of floral garden image. You know, not because there's anything wrong with a floral garden image, but just that's where my eye is kind of drawn, is like the the buildings and things. So, yeah, it's just weird, isn't it? Okay. Oh, loving, loving how that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? I just wonder whether we could have a butterfly on there. So I'm just going to glue this down on the edge. I haven't inked these up or anything, actually. So I'm thinking perhaps I should have vintaged these up with a bit of ink. We could, we could do that in a minute. So just put the lace down first. And I've left it overhanging. It looks pretty like that. Just got some of these little bits here. So we'll just see... You know, does that make that more interesting? I mean, it probably does. Let me just take it out. Yeah, it probably does. So just put that down. I will ink it first. Okay. Yeah, funnily enough, when I went round to the school this morning to take my daughter to school, um, you know, I got really wrapped up with my coat and my hat and my gloves and, you know, everything else. And actually, by the time I was walking home, I thought, oh, I'm sweltering. Don't get me wrong. It is not spring-like out there. No, it's not. So, <laughs> not trying to imply that it's kind of virgin on spring, but definitely it's not as cold as it has been today, anyway. I'm not saying it won't be later on in the week, but today it definitely wasn't. So, yeah, I got back and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm boiling now. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking maybe like that. We could have the flower over there, I guess. Could have it down there. So first of all, I'm just going to glue this on. Now I might glue this as a pocket. So I'll just take my hot glue. And the reason I'm using the hot glue predominantly is because this is going to be on that lace as well. So by just using the hot glue and the um, wet glue for the bits that are on the paper, it's just kind of helping that glue down. Could have used the wet glue. The wet glue would have, you know, glued fine, but it would have taken a while to actually stick. So, you know, when you're doing a video, it's just nice to do things really quickly. So I was having that flower there, but actually now I've kind of moved it about. I think it actually looks better, maybe kind of on that side, so. Just like that, I think. Yeah, love how that looks. Uh, do we want to ink this up a bit? I mean, again, it didn't really need inking, to be honest, but, you know, it all kind of adds to it. So, a bit of ink around there. Okie dokie. I mean, I can't believe we're about to be February again. I mean, goodness me. This year, I mean, it was literally like, you know, feels like yesterday when it was like, oh, happy new year, and already we're going into the second month. I mean, where, where does that time go? It's just flabbergasting how quickly the time goes. Oh, I'm so sorry about the use of flabbergasting. That seems to be my new word at the moment. And I've talked about this before, but yeah, I just go through these phases where I just, you know, I have my my new word so that's that seems to be my new word at the moment flabbergasting I don't know why I don't know <laughs> whether I've sort of heard people saying that a lot lately but yep seems to be my new word so yeah okay so might have that there just see whether we want to have any lace with that um, let me bring that same lace back in so this is just a very delicate pink but doesn't it look pretty against there 
so just put that down. Okay, and yep. Okay. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, just going to glue this down here. Now, I'm not going to put it on both pockets because actually I quite like it when it's not, you know, symmetrical. I don't want it to look like, oh, I've, I've done it on this side. I've, you know, I must do it on that side. I want it to look a bit more, um, you know, randomy, randomy than that. So I've got this one here with a bird. Again, I feel like I would need to cut the bird off for me to feel very happy with it. But let's just see. Oh, I have got this as well. This is from my faux stamped images. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, let's just pop that down. Sorry about the back. Okie dokie. Oops, like that. Again, didn't want that in the centre, so I've just put it kind of off off centre really like that and then this gorgeous label just ink this up okay so we just have that over there and again I'm just going to hot glue that because I'm gluing it on straight down onto that lace whoops it's just um you know the hot glue is kind of quicker when you're gluing onto the lace I don't have to then kind of keep pressing it and making sure it's stuck so we've got that one just see if I've got any other brownie colored labels that might want to go on here what's this one let me just ink this up a bit and we'll just see then oh, I've had a smoothie for breakfast this morning my diet's been pretty shocking again lately. So, yeah, trying to get back into slightly healthier eating. So, yes, I've had a smoothie and, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'm going to get back to being a bit healthier. I hadn't had a smoothie for ages. I mean, I went through that really good phase for ages last year, being really, really good and, you know, having a smoothie every day for breakfast. Oh, I don't know what's happened. But yeah, I spent most of last week having tubs of ice cream for my dinner, which is not not really great, is it? Not good for you. So, you know, my son kind of said, oh, mum, you know, you're not really helping yourself, are you, by not being very healthy? So, yeah, I thought, he's right. He's absolutely right. So, hence this morning, I thought, well, I'm going to start the day as I mean to go on, have a smoothie. There we go. Right. Now, just wondering, the last thing, whether I want to have a butterfly or anything. Um, yeah, I should just take a butterfly down. And these are just from my Bright Butterflies, but these are the neutral page. So you've got a page of neutrals, as well as obviously the brights. Oh, and I just want to say a massive thank you to the lovely Michelle. So Michelle, who runs our Facebook group, Michelle, you are such a kind, lovely lady. She has been sending me the most amazingly thoughtful gifts um, from Amazon. She's been ordering me little bits. And um, yeah, she's ordered me stays on ink pads. She's ordered me, um, uh, what, what do you call them? I've just got a complete blank now of <laughs> right well I'm going to skip on from that because the word's gone but yeah but the most amazing thing was <laughs> she also had ordered me some brads and I know I've talked about a lot before that you know I can't get my favorite brads anymore um from the range which you know I always kind of use the same old brads can't seem to get them and oh my goodness Michelle you are amazing the brads that arrived on Saturday, I think it was, they are, they 
like, oh, they, I mean, they're not exactly the same, but they are pretty much the breads that I can't get hold of anymore. So, oh, I just love you. Thank you so much. You are such a lovely, kind lady. And I mean, she is going through a lot of stuff herself. So I'm sure that, you know, you're all aware of it because I think she has kind of been sharing on Facebook. So hopefully I'm not kind of saying anything out of turn here. Um, but she has not been, you know, been well she's been obviously you know fighting um well fighting cancer um so yeah michelle i want you to know just absolutely you know i think of you often and you know really pray that everything is going well at your end um yeah you just are such an amazing lady and i know that we're all so grateful to you you run the facebook group amazingly and you know you do a fantastic job on there um, so I, I'm sure that, you know, everybody is kind of wishing you all the best. Um, but yeah, I just can't believe that even in spite of your, you know, what you're going through, you still are so thoughtful that you would even think of me, um, and then be, you know, shopping and buying me all those lovely thoughtful gifts. So honestly, thank you so much, but please, please take care of yourself now. You know, I just, yeah take care of yourself because honestly just don't worry about you know <laughs> yeah thinking about anyone else and definitely not me because you've got so much stuff going on on your plate at the moment so but I don't want you to think that I'm not pleased I'm so thrilled and honestly I couldn't believe it when I saw those brads I was like oh my goodness ah, it's the brads that I love so yeah you thoroughly made my day but yeah Thank you so much. But please, just worry about yourself now. Right, there we go. So, we've decorated that. Um, yeah, absolutely love how it's turned out. So, you've got basically a pocket here on the side. You've got a pocket here on the side. And then you've got a pocket here and a pocket here. And then, of course, you know, you could also add, as we talked about before, some extra pages in there for journaling. So... I just take this it's just some coffee dyed paper and I mean I won't put these in right now but yeah so let's cut that down there you know and you could just put in a couple or you could put in you know four or five you know how many you wanted whether you wanted it to stay relatively flat or sort of be a bit bulkier um, but that again then makes it a more useful piece by just having some extra pages and you could just stitch them in with the sewing machine or staple them or you know however you wanted really but aren't they just so cute and my goodness so simple so uh, yeah I hope that you like them I hope you have fun if you make some of these and um, yeah thank you so much for watching everybody I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye